Hello everyone and welcome back to Greenlands. I have officially finished harvest and what a delight that was. Well there you go, 24,305 is what we've made from selling those silage bales that you have all been eagerly waiting to see. Um, yes, I have finished harvest so we're back to video making. I actually finished uh, over a week ago, or just over a week ago. Um, but I decided to take a week off and spend some time with my kids, seeing as how it's the summer holidays. They're off from school, so I had some time off with them. Did some bits and pieces in the evenings, sorted out some stuff at my workshop. Uh, and now we're going to get back to... I suppose a little bit of reality if you can call it reality so we have our beautiful Renault she's just taken our bales we've got the JCB and the Ford sat there and in the last video it was a time-lapse wasn't it and um, we've got some machinery and some gear down here. We've still got some other stuff to bring down. I've got some ideas. This looks favourable for putting possibly another building on. Maybe. Uh, I quite fancy this field down here. I don't know how much it is. But we'll take a look at that. We're well into autumn now. Autumn? We're probably in the winter, 1st of November. Not a lot we can do, I don't think. What have we got on the job scene? Bailing, 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 bailing. New contracts. Anything? No. Clear contracts. New contracts. Nope, it is all bailing. Very good, or not. So, what do we need to do? We've got our field here, which I think we're going to need to put some fertilizer on it. I will check that out in a minute. I'm thinking we need to get uh, a plow, perhaps. Let's just check the bank. Do we owe any money? We owe 5,000. So let's repay that and we're done. So we're out of debt. We've got 21,200. Uh, rather than skip through it all. We... What do we have? We've got that. I want to plow though, and fertilizer, so this will take literally nothing to spray our field with this thing, but I believe the last time I used it was in a time lapse episode, so we'll <laughs> we'll just use it to do a measly little field. Then we'll look at what crops we can put in. And we will also look at ploughing, I guess. See what we need to do. If the field doesn't need ploughing, we could just cultivate it. And then direct drill. Um, I'm thinking a crop in there would be... The best thing to do then. So let's, before we do this, let's just check that we do actually need. Which one does it come under? I can't remember. I've been away for too long. It's there, isn't it?
No, fertilize. Here we go. Where are we? We're over here. Oh, I've sold those fields. I don't know if I told you. I've sold all of that. The only thing I can't sell is the farm itself because it's got um, it's got placeables in it, and I can't get rid of the placeables. So, yeah, that sucks. That definitely needs no fertilizer, but sixty nine does. Does it need ploughing? It does. It will require ploughingness. <laughs> yes. Right, okay. Let's go get ourselves a plough then. Right, you are redundant for a minute. Um, so we'll pop you there. And we will pop you around here. So, yeah, my ideas, my ideas that I've got. Um, I'm going to hard stand this. I may put a shed here. A drive shed so we could put the tractors in there and some machinery um, I'm gonna plow this field up for now but I am also thinking that I may put a shed on here but we'll see so we'll take the turbo tractor we'll get down to the dealership and we'll get ourselves a plow so we have arrived let's park out the way Let's get ourselves into here. Uh, plows. Now I have got uh, a mod plow. The Commander Lizard. I've got this Ermo. I don't want that. Um, so the, the branded Lizard, uh, they are actually supposed to be something else. I can't remember the actual name. Uh, anyway, that that's the one I think we're going to go with. Those are the only mods I've got installed for plows. That would be fantastic. It's a great looking mod. But it's just too much money. Um, let's look on the sales. There's nothing we want from there. We don't need that. So yeah, let's... Uh, Let's have this beauty. Hopefully the weight that I've got for the Ford will be good enough if we need it to go on the front of that. So that's 5,500. Oh, I was going to check the price of that field next to us. I'll do that in a second. Beauty. I don't think it's too heavy. It doesn't feel too heavy. Whoa, what? Easy does it, tiger. So yeah, harvest was uh, harvest was a delight. It went through really fast. We rattled through it. We had some really long days, which was great. I love it when it's like that. Obviously, we didn't have any rain. The biggest problem we had were fires. I'm sure you've all seen in the news about field fires, crop fires, machinery fires and all sorts of stuff. We didn't have anything serious. But on the last couple of days, <coughs> we left the area that has the most flint until last. Um and went and attacked it and we had extra staff on in all corners of the fields with little fire extinguishers and bowsers and all sorts and we just we just got on with it as soon as you saw something a little bit of smoke we just got straight in there 
and and got it out as quickly as possible. Thirty four thousand three hundred and twenty for field fifty two. I want that field, but we obviously see I can't sell that. But we obviously can't afford it at the moment. We've got fifteen thousand seven hundred. So we need to make our money up. And we will do. But I'm going to do some ploughing. <clears throat> Which you don't see me do a lot of. Because it is such a tedious job. But I've been thinking, you know, we really have to. Just, I'm not going to plow all the way. I'm going to plow a square, a rectangle type doofer, I think. So, whichever way the lines allow us. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Down. We're going to have lots of stones. Probably going to straighten this up at some point, but yeah, I'm going to have to. It's not going to work the way I was kind of hoping it would do. Eh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> So I'm going to time lapse some of this, but I am not going to do it all on screen because, as you all know, you've done this. And if you haven't, it's because you're cheating and using those, like, cheat things that are massively wide. We may have to rent a stone picker to get rid of these stones. Uh, so yeah, we'll, um, let's be authentic, Zebra, come on. We'll get this, we'll get this plowed, and then I'll come back, and we'll have a chat about some of the things that I've got planned for the future of the channel, of other channels, and stuff like that. So sit back, relax. Watch a bit of flowering.
So, this is just the last of the headlands. I got a couple of little bits I need to tidy up. As I was going, as I just, not long after I started actually, I realised I was ploughing the wrong way. So, what you're supposed to do is plough into each other and I was actually ploughing away from itself. Which I quickly rectified, as you will have seen. Um, I think I kept pretty much most of it in there. If not all of it. Uh, because it was actually quite painless to do. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, but we'll just get these little bits. Oh, there's another bit there. That's it. Now let's look at this. Do I do... No, I'm going to leave it like that, but we'll just... <clears throat> try and tidy this up a little bit. It's got to be neat. Just trickle in like that. I want to get that tiny little bit that I've missed up there. So we're going to have to rent a stone picker. I don't want to buy one at this present time and moment. And there isn't anything decent um, mod wise that's that's cheap or old or you know there's nothing nothing worth having so put that down drop that off we'll go get a stone picker um, and we'll just rent it Right, let's see what we got. Stone pickers. To lease. Hey, yeah, that's that's not bad. Per hour. Per work day. Do you want to lease it? One thousand two seven five. I guess um, we can always well actually I don't know whether Peter's put it into the map itself but on some of the maps you can sell the stone get it crushed and everything can I don't know whether that's on Greenlands or not we'll be finding out though that big old thing though it's bigger than I thought it was I thought it was just little. Certainly big enough for our fields. If if anything, um, it could do with. Uh, a, oh, I wonder if I can do that. Is this on a? Oh, I don't know. You really want it to come in right in behind the tractor rather than sticking out as much as it does, but... Hey-ho. Let's get to stone picking then. So that's going into work position. That is operating. Very nice sound effects. I have obviously used this before, as you will have seen in the David and John on tour series, which leads me quite nicely into what's going on there. So what I was going to do, as you know, I was running it side by side with Down on the Farm, and then I stopped. The reason I stopped 
was because I couldn't find any decent maps to carry on with that I was happy with so I just stopped to wait until we got something that I was happy with obviously we have an awful lot of maps now that we can choose from uh, but we are coming to the end of Down on the Farm series uh, for season 4 I think we're in now so what I'm going to do is whilst I have a break from Down on the Farm when the series or the season depending on how you prefer to call it finishes um, during that break from Down on the Farm we will have the David and John on tour series back and I will run it like that so when I stop one I'll bring the other one in and we'll do it like that because it's less work for my voice obviously I do David's voice and I it does take its toll I do, not all of the time, but when I, when I do the voices, I do strain my voice a bit. So I, I have to look after it, or else I won't be able to do it ever. So I think I'm just going ahead for the stones, and then we'll run the cultivator over the top. It's going to look messy but it's going to save us time I don't know whether it will actually save us money if I can get it back in a shorter period, I doubt it but we'll see so I'll get this done I'm probably just going to jump cut this because it ain't really nothing special I'll tell you what I'll keep going until it's full because I think we'll fill it up before I finish the field so I'll time lapse it till it's full we'll empty it and then I'll, I'll jump out the rest Well, that's been pretty unconventional, but <laughs> we're nearly done. Nearly done, he says. What have we got left? That one there, and that one there. And that, that's that. Okay, so we can turn you off. We need to empty it. I really thought I would have got full up before then, but obviously not. I think we will dump it. It would be nice if you could crush it and then use it as driveway material, wouldn't it? That would be that would be pretty cool. But obviously we don't. I d well, I don't think anybody has come up with a mod that way how do we empty it I can't remember that's not the right button is it uh, unload here control I thought it was I just needed to double check so it's not the greatest pile but it is a pile fold stone picker so we'll take this back 
immediately. Um, and then we'll get our cultivator and we'll cultivate that and we'll have it ready for drilling. Yep. Right. Right, we've got the cultivator on. <coughs> I didn't realise it was here. I thought it was up at the other one. So when I, whilst I came back from the other yard, I brought down the weeder. Um, that I, I didn't realise that those stone pickers actually do a, the do a cultivating process. So what we've missed is all that needs cultivating. But I am. Um, just going to run around. I love this thing. I really do. It's great. So this is going to do a real nice neat job of cultivating our field and make it look really pretty ready for our seed to go in. drive all over it, be fine. I've actually got some new textures that I need to install that have been given to me by Elite Farming. I haven't done any of that yet, so I'll try and get round to doing that. But even so, the textures themselves of the game are pretty awesome. In fact, I don't think these are the original game textures anyway, I think I've already installed some updated ones. Anyway, this won't take us very long to do, will it guys? <clears throat> so I'll stick with you for this. It's going to be a relatively longish video I guess, but we got some catching up to do. So some other things that are happening with the channel, if you remember back, some of you might not, you may not have even seen it, I did a poll asking if anybody would be interested in seeing some real life camping videos um, there, there was mixed mixed answers but uh, the majority of you did want to see some they were like yep yeah, no worries bring it on which I thought was quite cool um, so I'm going to do a few, but I'm not going to do a lot on this channel. I am actually going to start a completely separate channel for that. But I will be doing some. So you can see them, and if you're interested in it, and you do want to follow what I'm doing with it, then you can just hop over and join the other channel and go from there. I've not set it up yet. It will be called Seba Outdoors, if you're interested. And it's going to be about wild camping. Um, and not just wild camping but other types of camping there will be some reviews on equipment and things and various other um, bits and pieces uh, so keep your eyes peeled because it will be coming very soon I have now got all my gear and equipment up together and it wasn't the camping stuff I was waiting for because I've done camping before, I've got plenty of it. Um, it was the... It was all the stuff for doing the recordings. You know, I kind of... I don't, I don't pride myself on what I do with this channel at all because I know it could and can be better. But the quality, I've tried to get as best I can on the budgets that I can. and. I didn't want to start another channel doing something else and not have the quality to at least the same standard as what this one is. So I had to, I had to buy uh, a proper microphone and obviously the GoPro and various attachments and a gimbal and uh, you know just and it all cost money and you know I can't just go out willy-nilly and buy all this stuff so I've had to do it in bits and pieces so we are kind of up to up to scratch now on that and yeah 
the next one the what the next one the first video will be coming in a couple of weeks it will drop on both channels so it'll be on this channel it'll be on the other one there'll be links to the other channel if you want to subscribe to it I would really appreciate it um, and if you don't I completely understand because it's not everyone's cup of tea but we will we will be there at some point doing some random stuff in the middle of nowhere so we're nearly finished I do really love this cultivator um, it's very wide, it's very cheap it's very usable so you don't need hellishly powerful machines to get on with the job which I do like very much because we can't afford incredibly powerful machines just get this headland on and that will be that back her up into the corner last little bit and that is success fold you up and we'll put you away um, so there we have it that is today's episode pretty much concluded I think um, the next episode we will do some drilling it won't be a time lapse the next episode will be a normal one just because I think you deserve it um, so you're going to get two let's play videos this week I would imagine but that that is us done that is us done my lovelies field is ready um, comments please uh, what shall we put in here let's actually have a quick look at our options that's not the right one that's not the right one what are you doing I can't even remember where it is now isn't that one yeah idiot so our choices are corn, no thanks, sunflowers, soybeans, uh, sugar beet, no, sugar cane, cotton. We have missed the boat for wheat and barley. Have we missed, uh, we've missed the boat for everything, grass. I tell you what, we're going to plant it anyway. If it allows me to, I may have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery to get get something in. I tell you what, I've screwed myself, and I. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, tell me what. Tell me in the comments what you want to put in, and I will make some adjustments so that we can do it. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah. Next episode, we'll be sowing some seed. Uh, let me know what you want me to sow. And I will adjust accordingly. Really, really the only ones that we can put in are wheat, barley. Not putting poplar in and we're not putting grass in. So it's wheat and barley. Really. No, I didn't realise I'd uh, got that wrong. No. Real life you can plant later than that. Anyway. Um, yeah, wheat or barley, I like barley, it's itchy, but I like it, thanks for watching, stay safe, may the weather be with you.